Well, how do their chums, as I, Captain Stephen, today, chums, for all of you guys out there in the viewerverse, I am reviewing Emergence on No Man's Sky, and this is Expedition 4. So, yeah, pretty darn freaking awesome. Now, the starter planet itself was full of worms, which I'll get back to in a moment. So, yeah, I'm looking at the actual rewards. Now, you're probably thinking, Captain Steve, you look a little bit different. Yes, yes, I do. I've completed the expedition. And, yes, this is one of the rewards. You get this lovely, gnarly new look. Ha! I look like a worm lord or something. It's actually a worm occultist. So apparently there was these ritualists or occultists or whatever you want to call them. And yeah, they actually sacrificed people to the worms. And yeah, we get on to that in a moment because there is law included in this, which is freaking excellent. And look at this backpack that throws out a load of maggots and weird little flies and stuff like that as you use it. Lovely. Doesn't that look awesome? Looks like my backpack is vomiting out evil. Heck yes. Awesome. So yeah, there are some great rewards to be had in this update. More to come. So you get this lovely fandangly banner. You also get a decal that you can stick on the walls of your base. And talking of bases, you also get a giant freaking skull of a worm to put in your base, which is pretty darn epic. There is some more technology inside of this update that you can put inside of your exosuit. And yes, one of these lets you override an actual archive. Now, I have overrided the one, which is part of the story. I haven't been to any others to see if I can get any more lore from them, but I might have to try that. Yes, may have to. And there's all the lore that you get as well with inside of this. So you pick up these scrolls. They take up a lot of your freaking inventory space. But yes, they actually sort of divulge a mini story about the actual worm occultist or ritualists, whatever you want to call them, that like to sacrifice themselves to the worm for some odd reason. But yeah, pretty darn freaking epic that we get some lore with this actual expedition. Which is why I marked some of the previous expeditions down. Heck yes. Important announcement, chums. Yes, if you haven't already hit subscribe and like and all that sort of shenanigans on my video, if you're liking what you see with your eyes and hearing with your ear holes, please do. Now back down to the actual planet, and you're going to see these worms diving out of the ground at regular intervals, which is pretty darn freaking sweet. We don't have planets like this inside of the normal iteration and verse. Not ones that sort of have this sort of amount of worm spawns, which is pretty awesome. There's also this stuff, Cursed Dust Deposits. And we've also got these, which are Titan Worm Burrows. Little nests for the little guys, heck yes. This base that I'm standing on, by the way, people, there is an air class multi-tool here at that location. I would give you the person's name that actually found this lovely S-Class multi-tool at this base location. However, that brings me on to some of the things that I'm not so keen about on this actual update. So if I head on over here, I'm looking for the actual base computer right now. But because there's so many different markers, it's quite hard to actually make out this marker. But when you go over to said marker, the base computer doesn't actually appear. So I can't give credit where credit's due. I just stumbled across this by sheer freaking accident. And when I do sort of bring it up, it doesn't bring up a name or anything. I just landed here because, yeah, I had a landing pad. And I popped in, and yes, there's an S-Class multi-tool there. So awesome. So thank you, whoever you are, who marked this base out. Freaking awesome. So yes. Now, another thing with the amount of markers that you see is your ship will lock on to them when you probably don't want to lock on to them. And the longer that you leave doing the expedition, the more chock-a-block this planet will become with these markers. And they're freaking everywhere. It would be nice to be able to turn these markers off inside of the actual options, inside of the settings. Heck yes, it would. So what I would say though, chums, even with all this chock a blockness going on, I have not had a single crash while running the actual expedition. But I did run it and complete it in day one. So that brings me on to my next grumble of sorts. This expedition was fantastically good fun, but the fun only lasted for about four hours for me, because I completed it within that four hours, and it wasn't overly a challenge. But I would say the badges are fantastic. And the way that the actual missions rolled and flowed were quite nice. Apart from this one. This one here, the lo they're lost children. Yeah, there's no planets that I could find with ancient bones. Apart from planet Wasan, the planet you start on. But you can see here, that was Rendezvous 4. So, yeah, I've already travelled well away from that planet. So it meant I had to traverse back again. It would have been nice to see that ancient bones one earlier on. 
inside of phase one before you leave planet Wasan, perhaps. Yes, because it made you sort of double back. But there we go, that's the only sort of gripe I have with flow. Now, the other thing I have with the actual length, I completed this in four hours. It would be nice that after you've actually completed it in normal mode, if you did hit up the community expedition, it comes up and says, please select your game mode. And maybe you could choose survival or permadeath. That'll be pretty darn sweet. At least then at the end of the actual expedition, perhaps it could convert to survival or permadeath. So the new things that this actually brought to the actual verse inside of Expedition 4 were these sort of worm babies that you find at this sort of location here, which is the worm burrow type nest type thing. Now this looks like it's from one of those infested nest planets inside of the normal iteration. Well, I've got a base of one of these infested wells in the normal iteration. And do I see any of these little scuttery beasts there? Heck no, I don't. I don't find these worm creatures inside of normal space. I've actually gone back to planet Wasan inside of normal mode and found these creatures not to be here and the worm spawns not to be here. So it just seems to be that all this new stuff has been limited to Expedition 4, which is a little bit of a shame. Yes, the Emergence Expedition is the only place where you get to kill these little critters and get to see awesome worm spawns in the sort of rate that we see them here, which kind of feels a little bit off. I mean, how beautifully animated are these freaking creatures? I mean, look at them. Freaking amazing. Amazing work, Hello Games. But it seems a little bit odd that it's only reserved for Expedition 4 and the Emergence sort of update. So there are some people in the community that just don't like expeditions, they don't like rerunning them. So for them, this update would have brought very little into the verse in way of extra sort of mechanics or game mechanics or game play, which is a bit of a shame. It would be nice to have seen these sort of planets with these worm spawns and worms nest some babbies inside of normal space. That would have been pretty darn freaking epic if it upped the gameplay of all the modes. Hercules, quality of life improvements and some new phantomdily biomes. It would have been nice if we got some sort of desert or dune type weld biome for these things as well, wouldn't it? But there we go. That's, that's kind of like just me nitpicking, to be fair. And another little nitpick is... At the moment, there is no way to tame the giant worms and get an egg. So if you haven't done this expedition, this pet that I'm flying on, you're not going to get it. Heck, no, you're not. There's no way to get this, I don't believe, inside of any other game iteration or mode other than this Emergence Expedition, which is a five-week expedition. So if you do miss this window of opportunity, you have missed it for good. Heck, yes. Unless Hello Games brings something into the verse where we can rerun these expeditions at some stage, maybe a Christmas special would be quite cool where you could hit up any of the expeditions you may have missed for the full year so it gives somebody else an extra window to grab it. Heck yes. So with all that in mind I'm going to score this a 92 out of 100. I've put a list of pros on the screen and a list of my current cons on the screen so I feel it's well deserved of a 92 out of 100. This has been by far my favourite expedition. So yeah well done Hello Games. Leave your comments in the comments area people. Until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thank you, new backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. Add Froze Revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.